So you might not know it, but today is National Drink Wine Day. And here in Western New York, the wine industry generates millions of dollars every year. Now, while vineyards certainly face challenges from Mother Nature every year, they're also seeing a big buying boom right now from the millennial generation. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Ed Riley on the Wine Beat tonight. Uh, I hope it doesn't uh, peter out or, or plateau. There's just been uh, a nice growth. You probably don't think of a traditional winery as a place with cafe-like settings, food offerings, and even craft beer taps. But that's what the millennial generation is now looking for. So they appreciate the different flavors in wine and how they blend with food products much more so than we did. Millennials are consuming more wine than previous generations when they were 21. And the effect is being felt along the Chautauqua County Wine Trail with its 12 of wineries. They're ready to explore new things. Chris Kane operates the 21 Bricks Winery in Portland, and he says millennials are frequent customers who are looking for non traditional offerings, including different shaped bottles and twist off caps instead of corks. Uh, we've tried apple spiced wine, wine slushies, or, or just alternative things, not just using the old sense of putting wine in a glass and sipping it. So, why has wine become so popular with millennials? That's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> but no one is complaining. Planning. Even more traditional wineries like Liberty Vineyards and Sheridan are seeing an upward trend in sales. The wine market remains relatively healthy as the overall world wine market is raising our boat slightly. For Chautauqua County, grape growing and wine production has a huge economic impact, and the wines produced here are winning awards across the country. Uh, we were down in uh, Virginia and we stopped at a winery down there, and all their wines tasted like they were missing something. But these vineyards do face challenges challenges from Mother Nature. Last year, severe cold winter destroyed hundreds of acres of grapevines that produced some delicate varieties of wine grapes. Those grapes did take a pretty hard hit last year. And this year, those areas are only expected to put out a partial crop. They should be able to, you know, produce anywhere from a third to half of a, a full crop. And while the fields are now snow covered, grape growers are keeping a close eye on the forecast, hoping the weather does not get too warm too quickly. Overall, we're kind of happy that the uh, uh, ice in the lake is building up because that extends that spring season a little longer so the buds don't want to push quite so early. Now one area where there is concern is the juice market where prices are down. But thanks to the growing wine demand, many grape growers are now switching efforts to raising more wine grapes to help carry them through this tough time. At Riley 7, Eyewitness News. All right, good. Thanks, Ed. Still ahead tonight on 7 